Hi there, welcome to my Rails portfolio project, uh, Rails Rifle Paper. So if you follow the readme instruction and clone the repo, you'll be able to start on the project. First you bundle install the different gem files and you arrive at the stage. And following that we'll create a migrate.database and then seed our database. And for seeding, as you see in the README, you will need to you will require internet connection because I have created a scraper file which actually goes to riflepaper.com's shop or their e-commerce shop and scrape all the data for all of their products, including categories, product names, URL, etc. So this is why the seeding stage would take a little longer. And while it's doing that, we can start up so localhost all right so once the database is done seeding you'll be able to start the server with rails s and we can start interacting with the app um, a note is i have integrated third party sign up and login with OmniOff for facebook and if you are cloning the repo for the first time i have not committed my environment file so you will need to use facebook developer website to create your own app in order to update or include the facebook app id as well as developer password or the app password for your app to work all right, so it is done seeding, so we can start up the server. And now in localhost, you'll be able to see the app. So in my case, because I'm using my local project and I do have an environment file here, which includes my Facebook developer ID. So when I go to the sign up page, you'll be able to see a link to sign up with Facebook. Upon doing that, you will lead to your Facebook and you will accept in order to log in. And now once you're logged in, you can see the full menu bar. So firstly, as a user, you can go to the old products, which will display 783 total products. Here you can decide what you like to sort by, for example, to sort by prices. And the products will be displayed. Or you can sort by free shipping or by name. In this case, when you are a user, you can also view the products based on their categories. Click into which you'll see the actual products that's included. And as a user, you can create different wish list. So for example, here I've created a springtime, but let's create a new wish list. So let's say that I'm buying birthday present and my budget is $200 and I can make some note. So wish list for March birthdays. You can view of your wish list, you can edit it as well to make any notes you like. And then going back to product here, you'll be able to select a wish list that you have created. In this case, birthday present will update it and it has passed your params. So from this point, you can add different products to your wish list. And you'll see that the buttons have moved from add to wish list to remove from wish list. When you go back to viewing the birthday presents wish list, you'll see the products you have added. Users can also view their profile pages, see a link to their current wish list, edit their user account, and even deleting their user account of which you have a pop-up alert to ask if you really like to delete the account. And finally, you can log out.